You know, I got to be honest with you guys, man. This whole Genshin Impact nonsense that's happening right now, I truly feel like there's a lot more that's at play going on right now over than just a couple of Wokies losing their mind over a game that they probably don't even play. We have an article here from That Park Place with a headline that reads, Genshin Impact voice actors accuse the game of racism and cultural appropriation over design of the newly introduced Natlin characters. Because we're boring! We're so fucking boring! Now, you're probably asking yourself, what do I mean by the fact that there's something more at play here? And I got to be honest, man, as you read... As you read this article, I need you guys to pay attention for the next few minutes. As we read this article, you're going to realize that this entire Genshin Impact situation sounds awfully familiar, right? Awfully similar to another story that we have read about and heard about recently, which was Black Myth Wukong, which, by the way, Black Myth Wukong is another Chinese developer, just like Genshin Impact. So it makes you wonder... What is going on, right? Because we know that SBI, supposedly anyway, I should say supposedly, not that we know, but supposedly there was an extortion attempt against the Chinese developer for Black Myth Wukong. They try to ruin his image and then get him to pay to make his image better. Well, it sounds like this is the same exact scenario playing out. So let's get into this article, guys, from that park place. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. It says a number of Genshin Impact voice actors have accused the game of being racist over its over its newly introduced Natlin characters. Genshin Impact introduced a handful of its Natlin characters earlier this month in a teaser video. Since the character reveals a petition was launched on Change.org accusing Hoyoverse of cultural appropriation and whitewashing, the petition states, we call on MiHoyo to stop cultural appropriation and whitewashing in their games and to commit to respectful and accurate representation of all cultures. Well, quite frankly, go fuck yourselves, okay? Quite, like, I, I really don't know how else to say it other than that. Go fuck yourselves, because when you start bringing up stuff like racism, whitewashing, cultural appropriation, being respectful, and giving accurate representation to all cultures, and you advocate for something like Assassin's Creed Shadows, you can literally go fuck yourself, okay? When you advocate for stuff like Black Hill Patra, you can literally go fuck yourself. When you advocate for the race swapping of a known historical male Viking king to, into a black female for Netflix, yeah, you could go fuck yourself, okay? There's really nothing else I can say other than that because I don't believe you. I don't think you actually care about respect for accurate representation. You just want to see representation that makes you feel good. You want to you wanna latch on to something that you are deeming to be a social issue when at the end of the day, it is not an issue for 99% of the players playing this game. You might have been able to convince a couple of voices actors in order to uh, join your cause, but I really think this is a, uh, a light form of an extortion attempt, and I'll get into it. I want you guys to see the demands that these fucking people have, by the way. It continues, Mahoyo, a leading game development company, has repeatedly taken inspiration from indigenous cultures without proper representation and respect, in particular the many characters from Sumero and Natlin in Genshin Impact and from Penaconi and Hunkai Star Rail are all clearly white or lightly tanned at best, with the exception of some enemy NPCs, which has sparked concerns of racism among players and indigenous communities i want you to understand maybe it's me i don't see much of the indigenous representation in this particular character okay i uh, maybe the headband you know what i mean maybe some of the symbols but really at the end of the day this looks no different than most chinese drawn characters japanese drawn anime characters like not this literally looks no different than any other chinese game that's ever been fucking made in history but again they're trying to find a way to get angry over a uh, particular game that they don't have control over right this is a chinese developer chinese game whatever it is i again they don't have control over it. It's Eastern content, and they fucking hate it, right? These Wokies that are on Twitter hate Eastern content because they don't have control over the modern audience message, right? They don't give a fuck about that. Next, it declares cultural appropriation and whitewashing perpetuate harmful stereotypes and diminish the rich cultural heritage of indigenous communities. I don't know how this is a harmful stereotype, by the way. She looks very happy. But again, that's neither here nor there. These practices not only rep uh, misrepresent cultures, but also contribute to ongoing marginalization and disrespect. Now, here's where I think it gets interesting. This is the part you guys have been waiting for, okay? It then issues a list of demand on this change.org. I want you to listen to these demands. Look at the first demand that they have. Mihoyo, to engage with indigenous cultural consultants. 
Revise existing content to ensure accurate representation. Commit to creating diverse and inclusive characters. Ladies and gentlemen, again, this might be going into conspiracy territory. I have literally zero proof of this, so take this with a grain of salt. But the fact that on this change.org petition, the first thing that is asked for is for MiHoYo to hire essentially Sweet Baby Inc. or diversity and inclusion consultancy firms. That screams extortion to me. I'm sorry. I don't know if anybody else is getting that particular vibe, but this literally is screaming to me that there is a company out there or maybe they're all in on it because they really all grift on the same exact thing, right? They're racial grifters. If they are all in on it and they're targeting yet another Chinese company that they so desperately want to put on their worked with list, right? They want to be able to put MiHoYo on their actual page, right? Because it's just going to make them it's going to make them bigger. It's going to make them better. Imagine if SBI could put MiHoYo on their page. They probably will be so ecstatic because Genshin Impact is extremely successful. They will be able to extort so much money from MiHoYo if MiHoYo bends the knee and actually hires a consultancy firm. It would be ridiculous. This screams extortion to me. This literally looks like you have people faking outrage, right? You have probably diversity, equity, and inclusion consultancy firms making a change.org petition and trying to garner fake rage against the company. And then they're going to swoop in and be like, well, huh, I don't know if you've seen this petition, but we could definitely make this all go away. We can make this better. We can make people realize that you actually care about diversity, equity, inclusion. How's that sound to you for a clean bill of $5 million? You know what I mean? Like, that's what it seems like. And that's what it's screaming to me. I don't know. Again, that's totally conspiratorial. I have no proof of that. But it just the fact that they want cultural consultants as the first request it just screams to me that this shit is fake. Uh, the petition currently has 60,168 signatures. X account HYV Hoyoverse boycott was also created and provides instructions for players on how they can participate in the boycott. And again, this all is being created recently. I want you guys to realize that it, this is all being this is literally the Sweet Baby Inc. playbook. OK, Kim Belair at a meeting literally said that if they don't want to hire diversity, equity and inclusion consultants, you need to terrify their marketing teams over what's possible or what the potential outcome would be if they don't hire them. Right. So this is extortion through and through. And now there's an account that's been magically made. OK, magically made with do's and don'ts over what to do during the boycott. So they want you to review bomb. They want you to like and retweet this particular Twitter. They want you to share posts from them. BIPOX, spread the word, tell a friend, encourage others to speak up. They want to respond to surveys, send customer complaints. They want you to sign the petition, contact your local politicians, post in the official Hoyoverse account. Bro, and mute and block trolls. Are you kidding me right now? Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> This this was I'm I'm so serious on this conspiracy. And again, maybe I'm crazy, but this screams extortion. I feel like there is a diversity, equity and inclusion consultancy firm that is absolutely behind this. And they are trying to garner money from a very popular, very well-known IP that no consultancy firm has been able to touch into yet. They want to be able to get Hoyoverse on their client list and they're doing their strategy that they've been openly honest about. They've told people this is what they do. They're using their strategy through and through. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.